That's a good song. Alright. Let's try this one we were working the other night. I bet she's still around. You're about to enter the good old days. Jam, um, and uh, then I'm gonna go to the store and pick up this microphone, which has been uh, suggested for me. It's only a hundred bucks. She's like, yeah, it's only a hundred, only a hundred dollars. Mmm. Gonna eat another one of these. Then I'm gonna go and I'll try and miss rush hour traffic, but the way it looks, I don't know if that's gonna be a possibility, but we'll see. I gotta get to a Best Buy Music. Mmm. Hi, I'm here with Ian, and we're walking over to his car. We're in this impossible mission of not getting run over by a car. We're making a video. I have. Where it. was I? Oh yes, we're gonna go get a microphone. Why are we getting a microphone again? Because I need it. Oh yeah. Well, need it for what? I need to make music with it. Oh. <clears throat> are you gonna be playing? Uh, are you gonna be playing music on a glass jug again? I would try that. Okay. Are we going to need a Coppola to convince the masses that, you know, our novelty act is actually worth paying for and being going to the White House with it and, you know, that's novelty act, like Luke K. Dick. I think the answer is, you're right. All right, we're going to Best Buy in West Hollywood. Well, uh, I am one of the most dangerous places in the world. I am in a car being driven by Ian. And he's about to enter the Twilight Zone. <laughs> I came over here, you know, because we we're gonna go take a walk to Best Buy, but um, but 
hour driving over there. We gotta go to a different Best Buy. Yeah, we have to. A lot of people wonder about your acting career. I mean, in a way, you're living a dream that many of them just, you know, dream about and they can't come over here and audition and things. So, uh, one thing I would like to ask you is, do they usually slate you as soon as you get in, in an audition? Um, yeah, you go into the room, like you go into the waiting room, you wait, they call your name eventually, and you go in, and uh, then you're in there, sometimes by yourself, sometimes with other people, and you stand up in a line, and they're like, all right, get ready, and then they slate, they slate you down the line, like they do the first person, the line, next, the next. And sometimes they have you do profiles, sometimes they have you show your hands. Did they ever ask you that stupid question, uh, why are you special? No. Uh, every once in a while. An audition will be like, they ask you why you think something, or what you like about something or something. And uh, do, they, uh, do they do that thing where they say, uh, say something uh, interesting about yourself? Um, I've had that, I think, a couple times. But that's like over the course of years, only a few times. So what do you, what do you say when they ask you to say something interesting about yourself? I like it. I love people. I jam. I can dance. I don't know. Say something interesting about myself. I'm a mathematic genius. Do they believe that you're a mathematical genius? If you if you believe it when you say it, they believe it when they hear it. Folks, this is L.A. It's seen in many movies and TV shows and um, cartoons. <laughs> All right, we just got the Best Buy. Yes, we just did. It took us forever. I have no idea why you know we had to drive such a long way, but I'm beginning to suspect that Ian is uh, lacking in a nose magnet. I think it's the only Best Buy music around. I could be way off though. I didn't. I didn't it could do be way off. It doesn't research. say Best Buy music on it. No, it doesn't. Maybe it's not a Best Buy music. Maybe it's not. But the important thing is. What is that? The important thing is that it has to have the mag microphone that you're looking for because it came all this way and because you saw on the website that it would have it. It's all true. It's all true. Oh, okay, we got what we came for. Recording? Yeah, I got a, a microphone, the SM58X2U, and an applicator for my computer, a USB uh, transitioner. I don't know what you'd call it. I'll show it to you later. Um, came out to like 220. The guy was really cool. Yes, he was. Matt, thank you. Don't give out his name though, or everybody else is going to come over here and ask him for deals. I'll send you all to his YouTube page. So we're on the set of Banana Ionic Exchange. Uh, yes, uh, there was a pleasure to um, make that, but uh, the problem is that uh, uh, Ian offered me the banana after it's been in his ears, and I, I politely declined. I think it would have been way better for him. <laughs> There's too much brain. I like my I like my bananas without brain gel on them. It's so picky. Christian and I decided to take a field trip uh, on foot. More like a side quest. Yes. We're, we're looking for a couple of items which will grant us extra focus and strength. Well, Christian. actually, it will give us the materials to produce an infusion, which will provide our friend over here with some uh, extra strength and focus. Yes, and charisma. And charisma. I need to boost my charisma. Already? Yep. I already had it at level, tw yeah. level 21. I love spraying water, dude. Oh, dude. Uh, there's just not much light at night. I wonder how this light is. It's good enough. So we failed and, you know, we're trying to find some coffee makers and we couldn't find it at the price we wanted. Actually we couldn't find anything over here. But we did find some incredibly cheap coffee for 99 cents. Oh that's awesome. We are at Coffee Bean. Yep. Uh, we're making our drinks now. And Ian ordered a large pumpkin latte and I got the ultimate uh, mocha extreme. What was it? I got the ultimate mocha extreme. Sounds extreme dude. I gotta stop covering the uh, the microphone. Yeah. Well, it's uh, extreme means that they add twice the amount of caffeine. Oh, that sounds good. Thanks. 
So, this is this is this is the first time you get a pumpkin latte. This is not the first. That you may be covering the mic. I'm not sure. Is it, are you covering the mic on the? Is it I'm on the top sure. or on the bottom? It's on the bottom. There, yeah. Yep, it's not being covered. It's not the first time I've had a pumpkin latte, and it won't be the last. Okay, here comes the shirts coming off. Are you gonna do a vlog? <laughs> yes. The thing about the pumpkin latte is the pumpkin. Well, I think mine is already done over there. It's a yeah. Ian. They're calling Ian. How's your coffee? It's great. It's even better without the monkey hand. I was thinking how we were like messing around with the phone, trying to figure out like what was what. We looked like a monkey. Is like, <laughs> like <laughs> trying to break open the coconut. Like Ferris from Spectrum Man. We're on Wilshire Boulevard. Um, awesome area. It's like South Hollywood. I have South decided Hollywood. that I'm going to wear my glasses for this video to pair up with Ian since he's wearing it his. So we're twins. Yep, we're twins except for one thing. One was born in Europe, the other one in America. That was a long flight. That guy that ran by was in our, in our glasses group too. Oh. <laughs> Brother from another mother. We're actually triplets. I think that Peter Alton is related to us. He's great. Yeah. I love LA. I love it so much. Do you love LA? Living the LA lifestyle. Yes, you are. I love LA. I wouldn't live anywhere else. You are an animal. Roar! <laughs> Ian, what do you think that says over there? The Hayworth. I mean the mar marquee. Moist? Ah, you got it. It took me a while to realize it did not say Osmit. Maybe it says Omits. Uh, it's moist. Smito? <laughs> Mitos. Yep. Hmm. It's but over here is the evidence. Good. Yep, Ian was correct. Moist. 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 Sexy, sexy, and seasonal. <laughs> We just passed the Hayworth. And that over there is the American Cement Building. Mm -hmm. It is, of course, inhabited by the American Cement people. So when you see all those living statues coming out of there, don't be surprised. And I think that we are seeing a lot of Asian drivers around here. Asian drivers are the most prolific predators of downtown L.A. I should, uh, I should warn you, Christian's immensely racist. Uh, yeah, I'm immensely racist. I race cars all up and down the street. And he's fast. Yeah. <laughs> vroom, vroom. Asia, dude. Well, no, it was interesting because... This is Sparta! He was explaining to me earlier oh, yeah. um, the, about Asian drivers, about how it, sometimes when they come, people come straight from so certain Asian countries. There's no street signs and not a lot of traffic laws. And streets don't even have names. Yeah on the street so I could understand why maybe it would be a little bit of an acclimation for someone that just came over from an area like that into this hectic driving culture and this is we're right near Koreatown yep there's MacArthur Park right in there ah. and then what did I tell you about the Asian drivers how why was it difficult for them to see when they're driving because their eyes are like this <laughs> that's what he told me Spring was never waiting for us, dear. It ran one step ahead. Yes. Yep, there's Mark MacArthur Park. Ah, is that named after General MacArthur? It probably is. Probably is. And away we go. Uh, roaster or in the oven. Okay, so. Uh, we're, uh, we're here at the 99 cent store. Where Christian is uh, showing me the wonderful world of... Condiments. Nuts, nuts, and spices. spices. Yeah, because... Uh, you know, the one who's a specialist in this is Thomas, the Daxter, but he's in Sweden right now, so we can't. But see, see all this, this immense selection of spices and condiments that you can get for 99 cents each? Mm. You know, I, I suggested that Ian get some of the cayenne pepper and some of the... Cumin. Paprika and... Cumin! You found the cumin! Got it. Good. Gracias. Cumin obtained. <laughs> 45 experience. Yay! 40 experience points. Dude, this is gonna be great, man. Yeah. <clears throat> so there's more seasoning over here. There's garlic salt. Do you want some garlic salt? No. 
ginger, lemon pepper, Italian seasoning, salad seasoning, everything you might want. The only thing you need now is a, a Thomas style uh, a spice rack, but I don't think that we can find that here. Christian's going to tell me all about it. I'm going to tell you the secret. What you do is you get the two bags of uh, green beans, and you're going to, they're frozen green beans, you put them in a baking pan, uh, you mix in one can of uh, condensed cream of mushroom soup and one uh, container of sour cream, and you mix it all up, and you put that in the roasting pan, and then you crunch up one bag of Ritz crackers, one of the bags that come inside of the box, and uh, you mix half a stick of butter into the Ritz crackers, and uh, you don't make it into a paste, you just make it so that the Ritz crackers are wet. And then you sprinkle that on top of the green beans and put it in 30, uh, 350 degrees for half an hour to 45 minutes. When you use frozen green beans, it's 45 minutes. And then you enjoy. Oh, I'm going to enjoy. Oh, yeah. That we'll sounds enjoy. really good, man. All right, buddy. Have fun. I'm in the bathroom in a local Subway restaurant and I'm so excited.